Hi, Max in German car, 15020 Oxnard Street, Sherman Oaks, California, 91411. <coughs> Call or text 310-804-4185. Meet or beat <coughs> any eBay price for the exact same item with shipping post before this video. 2009 CBF code 2.0T. Removing the cylinder head. I'll just give you a few important points to do it. Now, uh, this is a very complicated timing chain setup. First order is mark your timing chain, timing sprockets. You do not want to lose the position of your timing chain on the cam sprockets. So, before you remove the cylinder head and naturally remove the timing chain in order to remove the cylinder head, make sure that you mark the timing chain on top dead center so that you know where it goes back that's very important mark the timing chain in relation to the cam sprockets and other sprockets <clears throat> you have to remove the uh, crank sprocket mark that as well there is a timing mark on there set it on top dead center remove the crank sprocket I believe this is a uh, 24, uh, 20, 22 millimeter uh, bolt to remove the crank sprocket. You must remove the top timing chain cover and also you must remove the lower timing chain cover. There is no valve cover on this engine. You stick the special uh, bit six point bit in order to remove the head bolts through what looks like the valve cover but there is no valve cover to remove no valve cover there's a couple plugs you have to remove there's ten head bolts you stick the uh, special tool through what looks like the valve cover but there is no valve cover in the holes to remove the head bolts so no valve cover special six point bit to remove the head bolts there's a cover that covers the uh, the, the timing chain uh, and the uh, cam sprockets remove this uh, cover here to get to the timing chain and sprockets and then in order to remove the timing chain after you've marked it and believe me set it on top dead center and mark that timing chain properly so you don't lose its position you know where top dead center is you remove the timing chain tensioner right here and the timing chain will get loose and you can remove it from the cam sprockets this is what it looks like but the most important thing in this job is mark your timing chain so you do not lose its position this is a very complicated timing chain setup there are three timing chains on this engine the most important here is the one that goes to the cam do not want to lose the timing so mark those timing chains in relation to the cam sprockets they must go back exactly where they came off on top dead center it's Max, German car, 15020 Oxnard Street, Sherman Oaks, California, 90411. Call or text 310-804-4185. Thank you very much.